Bonjour, mes amis, je m'appelle Alain Lefou. Puis aujourd'hui, je joue FTB vidéo numéro 31. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Crazy Al, and I'm playing FTB episode number 31. Hey guys, back playing some FTB. Gonna kick it off doing a little B stuff. If you have watched previous episodes, you probably noticed that I finally, finally automated some of my apiaries. It's just, just basic setup here with the Tarchic gate, a wood pipe, stone pipe, apiaris pipe, and uh, just a regular vanilla chest. I'll show you guys how to do this. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, you can. You don't have to set it exactly like this, but this is basically how I got it going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just got the wooden pipe here, and then I got uh, stone transport pipe like this. And then on the top, I put my APRS pipe, so that, that way it's going to uh, send the items that I want, you know, in the direction that I want. For example, obviously I'm going to want the bees to go down into the black side here. And I'm going to want all the items like the honeycomb and whatever the bees produce coming out the top here this is actually the white side it shows up gray <laughs> I don't know why it's just gray but it is white if you right mouse click on it it's this uh, output here and this is the input for the uh, for the apiary oops so that's pretty much it oh actually I gotta put in the Atarcha gate you don't have to use the Atarcha gate you could also use just an engine a redstone engine or any other kind of engine redstone would probably be the easiest and we'll make the adjustment on the Atarchic gate as item inv inventory. And then we'll put a pulser on that. And then we'll make the adjustments here on the apiarist's pipe. So on the black side, that is the apiary. So that will be the input for the apiary. And I want bees, so any bees. So basically any bees that get pumped out of this, this apiary will just go like this and then into the back into this that way I can keep the cycle going because that's what I've been doing I've been doing it by hand before and it's just ridiculous I need to make one of those alvearies that I talked about the big apiaries that's why I got dirt there that's just kind of a you know I just put that for size just to you know when I was building this and then I also want to put one in there so that's why I, I got <laughs> that's why I got to automate this because it's ridiculous doing it by hand it's really stupid anyways let's get back to this so for the white side I want the items to go into the chest so now items go into the chest bees go into the apiary so now if I grab a queen let's see if I can grab something that I need do I have any see the thing is is I don't have ooh, I don't have any uh... no I don't have well that sucks I wanted to put uh, one of these the industrious or imperial but I think I got them all working that's what I got going here Right here on this side, these two, I got the Industrious producing the Pollen. And then on this side, I got the uh, Imperials producing the Queen, uh, producing the Royal Jelly. Because that's what I need to make, to make the uh, Alviaries, which I will make eventually. So, yeah, let's just drop in a random Queen in there. What do I got? I got an Ancient Princess. Excited. We don't want to put Excited. That's going to cause lighting, Lightning. Let's drop... Uh, let's, I guess let's drop an ancient princess. Can't remember what they produce. Do I have any ancient drones? That's the question here. This is all unorganized. Probably should have organized this before I started the uh, video. Of course, that's not a purebred ancient, is it? So I don't want to risk it uh, losing losing this. So I'm gonna use that other ancient princess that is not pure. I'm gonna keep her. She's pure. She's a purebred. Okay, so let's put the ancient princess and ancient drone just to get the thing started. And yeah, so that's just going to do its thing and uh, keep going. And I'll set up this one as well. But I also want to make an adjustment here. I just need to grab everything. I'm going to take these these uh, chests off. Actually, I'm just going to have everything going in, everything going into one chest for all six of these. 
I just think it's kind of dumb to have everything in separate chests. It's kind of stupid. So I'm going to get everything I need. I just basically need some stone pipes and some iron pipes. And I should have everything I need to set it up. And I'll just have everything going into this chest. So yeah, I'll be right back, guys, and just grab all that and then do it with you guys on camera. See you guys in a second. Alrighty, back. So I just popped off all the chests. And like I said earlier, I want everything to go into that golden chest at the end there. So I'm going to use a combination of just the regular stone transport pipes and, of course, the iron one-way pipes. Over here on the end, I'm just going to put two transport pipes where I had the chest going like so. And then over here, I'm just going to put one because I'm going to put an iron, iron pipe over these ones because this is where I need to start uh, directing the traffic into one direction. So, oh, there we go. So switch over to my iron transport pipes. Put those on top here and right here and right there. And then I'll go in with the stone, the regular stone transport pipes and just connect everything up. Like this. And over here, connect this. And I'll leave a space in the middle here because I need to put another iron pipe right here. So I'm trying to do this fast. That way I don't lose any items. I guess it's no big deal if they pop out. I'll just pick them up. Um, okay, so everything's good there. Now I'll go in with my iron pipe. And that's all connected to the chest. So good, good, good. So there it is. Now I just need to go in with a, you can go in with a build craft wrench. I'm just going to use the crescent hammer, which also works and just direct everything to point that way. So, I mean, just right mouse click on the actual iron pipe and that's pointing in that direction. Same thing on the other side here and it's getting dark. Just throw down a torch here somewhere just to kind of, I don't want it to look too dark here. Okay, so this one's already pointing down, so I don't need to touch that one. So now everything that's going to be produced inside of these apiaries, so all the honeycomb, the royal jelly, the pollen, is just going to shoot out here and go that way into that intersection and then shoot down into the pipe, or into the pipe, into the chest. And there you have it. So that's going to be a fully automated section here. And yeah, so obviously I want to do this so I can start creating uh, the alveary, like I mentioned. So what I'm probably going to do here is I'm probably uh, not in this episode, but maybe in the next episode or the one after is I'm going to create some, finally create some alvearies. I mean, geez, like <laughs> I talked about that a long time ago, but finally create a couple. I'll probably make one there, make one here, and then I'll start thinking about making another location finding another location maybe a little bit far away from my base to build like a bee factory where i can start you know having the bees produce a lot of items that i might need i'm not sure what that's going to be you know i mean bees can almost create anything in the game so it's going to be pretty cool when i get to that stage and i haven't been playing around with the bees so in the last little while so i'm i'm pretty behind i should be much farther along i mean i just started automating these things which is brutal but um, yeah, I'll let these roll for a while, start creating that royal jelly and uh, pollen, and then uh, start busting out some of those alveary blocks and build a couple of those. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the hay, and I will uh, see you guys in a second. All right, uh, up next on the to-do list is I've, I got to get myself one of these industrial grinders. I actually already have it crafted, this part here. And this is kind of like uh, the industrial blast furnace, I believe. You're going to need to uh, set up a 3x3x3 three by three by three structure. Um, I think the industrial blast furnace is actually 4 high, but this one's 3 high. And... I've never made one of these, but uh, I'm going to need some standard machine casings. 
And we're going to need some reinforced, which I have some left over from my previous machines. And I'm starting to run out of space down here. <laughs> I was thinking of replacing, uh, oh, that's not good. Where did that go? What the heck? Okay, that was weird. All right, so let me just put this blast furnace here back together. The regular blast furnace. I was going to put it right here, but I decided I'm going to try to stick it right in here. I'm just going to try to squeeze it right in here behind the industrial blast furnace. And hopefully these blocks here don't connect. And I don't think they should because this thing's already been uh, created. So I believe to make one of these, I'm going to need to lay it down nine standard machine casings like this and I'm going to have to lay down the reinforced in the middle leaving a space for water from what I understand so I'm just going to try to drop a bucket of water right there there you have it then I'm going to go in with the standard machine casing and fill up in this area here if I can just kind of find something to sit on here kind of get in there I'm just gonna have to go like this I guess oh there we go okay so I'll just drop that in oh and hopefully this works once I drop in the industrial grinder I think it's got to be set up on the middle so it has to touch the uh, reinforced part of the machine casing and I think it, it I think it has to be directly in the middle I'm pretty sure so I'll just kind of drop it in there and um, okay so hopefully that is correct and from what I understand it can take 128 EU per tick so this wire right here is busting out 128 so hopefully it doesn't blow up my my grinder okay I don't have any <laughs> any uh cable here glass fiber cable hopefully i have some in here and i do okay so let's uh, hook it up and hopefully it doesn't blow up and uh yeah let's uh drop it in from here and here we go oh it didn't connect oh wait <laughs> i'm way off here guys jesus okay so i gotta go in here like that. I just don't want to touch that uh, transformer there, that low voltage transformer. Okay, so good to go. Um, and I think there has, I need, I need to feed, whoa, whoa, I think I need to feed water into this. I don't know where, if I use uh, cells, I think I can just pump water into there. So give me a second here. I'm just going to dig out a hole here, drop in an infinite water source with uh, an aqueous accumulator, and I will be right back. got uh, infinite water source here uh, I think it's two by three Does that make any sense yeah two two this wide and then three like this as long as there's two sides touching the aqueous accumulator I should be good so I'm just gonna drop it in there um, and I've got myself some uh, liquid ducts see if I can bring it up here and of course that's not gonna connect I'm gonna need to use my crescent hammer Connect that up. How come it's not connecting? There you go. Okay. Oh, I screwed it up. Let me just flick that here. Ah, annoying. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. So water's coming in. Um, let's check it out. See if it's showing up inside. It's not showing up. Maybe it has something to do with this right here. Okay, I don't know what is going on right now. Maybe it was filling up actually. Just takes a while maybe. Maybe you just don't see it. Very weird, very weird. I guess I'm just gonna have to test this thing out. Uh, give me a second and I'll be right back. Alrighty, back. Just want to grab some more and just make sure it works. It does, in fact, work. 
Uh, and it's pretty fast actually if we just drop in the uh, tin ore. Well, it's not that fast, but it goes at a decent speed. So it just gives me a little bonus on my ores, but I did set this thing up for uh, for making iridium. You can actually make iridium uh, using this thing. It's a combination of using this and the centrifuge and redstone and a bunch of other things. I actually haven't done it yet. It was uh, brought to my attention by one of uh, you guys, actually. So I'll probably do that in a future episode. Is uh, Basically, the first step is to... Um, put the redstone in here and that's what I've been doing already and start collecting some mercury and then you do something with the um ferros dust or ferros ore I believe or something like that <laughs> and uh you can make some iridium somehow somehow you can make a little iridium piles or whatever and then you can slowly very slowly uh, accumulate iridium instead of doing it with you you matter so yeah this thing's working so I got another Greg Tech fancy machine hooked up in my basement here, so that's good. And uh, yeah, let's uh, head over actually see how much UU matter I have right now and make some more iridium with that. Let's start collecting that stuff. Head over to the UU factory here, and I've actually got almost all the power turned off. The only thing supplying energy right now is my lava. I turned off my fuel because I'm starting I starting to run out of oil actually. And I got 54 UU matter, so not too bad. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of oil, so I'm gonna have to go find some more oil out there and um cap some of those oil oil wells. If you check out my tank, I mean it's still pretty full, but it's uh, slowly at the top there. Starting to run out of oil. So gonna have to find some more oil but this thing's rolling really good I, I like this thing I can actually add even more uh, diesel engines on this thing it's uh, it's a good source of energy it's just it the 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 fuel burns so slow so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but puts out a lot of EU per bucket anyways I think I'm gonna call it an episode there guys cuz uh, right now I'm waiting for the all the stuff I need to make the alviary. Actually, I could probably bust out a few of a few of these scented panelings. Let's actually let's finish it off like that. Uh, I'll make some scented panelings here. So I'm gonna grab this pollen and uh, my royal jelly. I got all the royal jelly, yeah. And I'm gonna need some honey. How much honey do I have in here? I got some honey capsules. Oh man, I'm running out of room here on my inventory. I don't like this. Okay, let me just put some dirt in here. Um, grab some honey. Grab some of these capsules, wax capsules. These things are awesome. So cheap to make. Just like that with the beeswax. And you get all these things. You can put fuel in there and all kinds of stuff. So it's great for, uh, you know, transporting uh, liquids. I don't know how much honey I got in here. I got 92 buckets, so not very much. So let's uh, fast forward this right here. Fill these up and then head up to the uh, carpenter. Alrighty, I don't think I'll need that many, but uh, let's let's head up to the carpenter, and hopefully there's no liquid in there right now. And of course, there's a bunch of seed oil, so I'm gonna have to let this thing roll here, guys. And I don't want to waste the seed oil, so I'm just gonna make some more of these impregnated sticks, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, back. The oil is all used up. Gonna drop in the honey and my email. <laughs> I gotta turn my email off one second. Brutal. Okay, I'm gonna drop in the email or the. <laughs> oh man. All right, take two. I'm gonna drop in the honey like I just did right there. And I'm not even gonna redo this recording because uh, normally I would redo it when I screw up like that, but for some reason I'm just gonna leave it in there. I screwed up, okay? All right, so there's the uh, honey. And I'm going to put in the wood planks here, uh, this wax, beeswax, and the royal jelly on the top, and I believe the pollen, like so. And there you go. It's going to bust out a bunch of panels. You're also going to need to make one of these impregnated casings to make uh, this thing over here. 
the alveary block and the impregnated casing is also made in the in the carpenter and it, ex except it doesn't use honey it uses seed oil and the recipe here I'll just show you guys real quick is just the logs like this so it's really simple and then you put your seed oil and you're, you're good to go and I already made a bunch of those so let's let these go off let's see how many I can actually make uh, should be a fair amount um, of uh, scented panelings so yeah just let me roll out as much as I can and then I'll hit the project table see how many blocks I actually have and I have if I have enough to make a alveary which I will make in the next episode not in this episode but yeah give me a second I'll be right back okay so that took forever <laughs> forever I ended up making another carpenter actually so I could speed it up a little bit and I ended up leaving and left I left my uh left my apartment and just left left the minecraft running so anyways i got uh three stacks and a little bit of scented panelings and a bunch of impregnated casings i don't think i'm gonna get that many uh blocks here but let's let's take a look and see what we can get here and yeah all of that work all that work and all i got was 25 alveary blocks insane so yeah, I think I'm going to call it an episode right here, guys. And I'm going to do the alveary in the next episode because I just want to kind of test it out and have a, you know, somewhat understanding of how it works. And I'll probably set one up down here. I don't think I have enough to set up two. But, uh, yeah, I can't even do math right now. Maybe I do have enough to set up two. Actually, I think I... No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't even think I have enough to set up one. So... Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit more work and wait for the bees to do their thing. And yeah, so as always, guys, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Later. Would you like to take a trip to a land you've never been to before?
Would you like to 